I've always been somebody who likes to help other people. I think that goes back to when I was a Cub Scout and a Boy Scout and just sort of learning that principle. And that's always just been a part of my life. My name is Brandon Powell. I'm from Sammamish, Washington. I'm a member of King County Search and Rescue. I've been a member for about 10 years. Over time, as I responded more and more and my participation in search and rescue increased, I started on the journey to find a small footprint vehicle because our roads and trails around here aren't real big, but high capability, and by that I mean could carry a lot of people and a lot of gear, and would be reliable, be easy to fix, and be certain to get me out of that. I stumbled on the Pinsgauer. This particular one is a 1972 Pinsgauer 710M and was owned by the Swiss Army. When the Swiss retired it, I was able to find it and make a deal to get it up to Washington. And at that point, it sort of started on the transformation to what it is today. I love this thing. It is the most fun I've ever had driving anything. You sit forward, it's a forward control, so you sit up over the front wheel. It's not a powerful vehicle, but with the gearing in it, it'll go anywhere. It's just hard to stop it. It's not an accident that the thing is a conversation starter. It is a bit of a showstopper. It creates the conversation that allows us to let people know about what they should be thinking when they're heading into the backcountry. Make sure they're equipped with the stuff they need to get themselves back out. When I think about my childhood especially, things felt very unstable. A lot of times I felt like I needed help and I didn't always have that help around and I, I kind of had to figure things out on my own. I think at that moment, something started that led to where I am that created this urge to help other people and give them that hand when they needed it. People think about search and rescue as a thing for hikers and campers and you know climbers and the reality is 30 to 40 percent of the work that we do is downtown. When I think about the mixture of and diversity of kinds of missions that we've had with crime scene investigations and missing children and dementia patients, we do a lot downtown. The Northwest is an amazing place to live just because of the diversity of landscape that's available with a short distance or short drive from the city. In our area, we have a very diverse population from people coming from all over and all walks of life. And they don't necessarily have the background or the training or having grown up in the environment where they really sort of know what to do instinctually. It's very beautiful, but it's also very dangerous. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can get into a lot of trouble. There's definitely a service orientation to why I do what I do. A lot of it goes back to the Boy Scouts for me, that learning to always be prepared to helping other people and just all the principles that you're taught. You know, Scout is kind and trustworthy, loyal, helpful, courteous. Like, I still remember all that stuff. It's still in, embedded in me. I don't do this for me. I don't, I, like, I don't care if people remember that I did this at all. I really, I, I hope that my family sees and learns and makes a different investment in each other and the people around them because of what they saw me do. And I served as a good example. Mm -hmm.